Hello, this is Jason. I'm about to leave Bonnaroo 2016. This is my third Bonnaroo. And I must say, hey, it was a great one. But, uh, other than that, uh, right now it's about a little bit after 7 a.m. And I've been up for about an hour and a half, half awake. Only because my neighbors decided to start their car. Pardon the noise in the background. Right now, there are many people who are taking down their tents. So, um, I think everybody's on the same boat as me. They can't wait to do some more traveling or going home. But anywho, I met some great people. Unfortunately, I won't keep in touch with them, but I did get to hang out with my friend Paul. And he introduced me to a lot of great bands. A lot of them he didn't know himself, but I had a great adventure with him. And, um, what did I think of this year, Bonnaroo 2016? It was really great. In the beginning, I was very skeptical about it. Even after they announced the lineup, I was very critical of it. But my friend Paul did say something that helped me come back. He said, hey, I think you can have fun. And I did. I think it's a lot better than it was 2014, when the vibe was kind of ruined at the time by most people. Maybe it's just me. So, um, but 2016, everybody was having a great time. Everybody was dying to come back for next year, meaning the first timers, and I was very happy about that. Um, so basically, I'm going to miss it. I really hope to return soon or later. Who knows what the future holds for me. Um... Now, from what I hear, the attendance was down 30,000. I don't know if that's true, which means it would be down to 50,000 this year. So I guess this means only the true Bonnaroo loyalists were here, and myself included. <laughs> but I'm going to miss this place. I'm glad I came back this year. Of all vacations I could have taken this year, of all road trips I could have taken. But... The performances were great. I don't really have a favorite one, but I gained a lot more respect for a lot of different singers and artists. I mean, it was just awesome, and it was just awesome all around. And I can't wait to, I don't know, uh, kind of settle down, take a shower. I have not showered in like almost four days. And I'm sunburned, I guess a little chapped, and I'm dirty. So I guess I'll just wait for to go back to my hotel in Nashville. But I did see a lot of great performances. I saw Pearl Jam again and a little bit of Lord Huron. And I finally got to see the dead so I can finally tell, you know, people I know that deadheads that is. I've seen them live. Well, with John Mayer, of course. So I'll give you a little panoramic view of Tent City. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but that's the... Bonnaroo Radio Tower. It's got a disco ball on top. I think it's a really great addition they did this year or last year. But Bonnaroo 15, may you have may your next 15 years be really great. And I am about to Oop, I got to zoom back in. Peace out for next year. My tent neighbors were really great. Like I said, 2014, the last time I was here. It was so-so, but now I'm glad the vibe has been reinstated and the positive attitude and as for now I resolve my resolution is to continue with the Bonnaroovian code. So that's my dad's truck. He again let me use it. Thank you and bless his heart. Maybe he'll let me use it again in the future. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to sign off, so peace out, Bonnaroovian style 2016. I'm about to hit the road.